week 12 of the fantasy basketball season. And here's a few centers I would look to sell high your trade this week. The first guy is Joel Embiid of the Philadelphia 76ers. So Joel Embiid, we know he's been an MVP candidate. We know he's been a monster this season. But once again, he's injured now. What a knee bru- a bone bruise in his knee is Embiid. And he's going to be out two to three weeks minimum right now. So on the season, he was ranked number eight in fantasy basketball with a whopping 29.9 points a game. 11.5 rebounds, 3.3 assists, 1.2 steals, 1.4 blocks, 1.2 threes a game, 85% from the foul line, and 52% from the field for Embiid in the last few weeks before he went down. 31.5 points a game, 13 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks a game, 1.5 three-pointers, 57% from the field, and 84% from the line. So Embiid every season... It seems like this big man goes down with an injury. And right now, with him being out three weeks, that's going to take you to week 15. And if you're in a team in your fantasy league on the brink of making the playoffs and not making it, and you got a big piece like Embiid out, this is the time to trade him and try to get a good one-for-one deal. We'll get two solid players for him because I don't know how healthy he's going to be when he comes back. We don't know for sure if he'll only be the two or three weeks and he's just been injury-prone throughout his career. I know the numbers are huge. I know he was an MVP candidate and his team's been playing great all season, but Joel Embiid, he's injured now and he's a big man that it might take him longer than a two, three week period to come back. And if I could get something good selling him off here, this is the time to do it. The second center of the trade was sell off this week's Miles Turner of the Indiana Pacers. So Miles Turner, he's having a good fantasy season. Because of his blocks, he's ranked on the season number 18 with 13.2 points a game, 6.6 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 3.4 blocks, 77% from the foul line, 48% from the field, and 1.4 threes a game. He's hitting his Miles Turner. In the last couple weeks, though, his numbers haven't been great. Now this trade room is that the Knicks and Lake is interested in trading for Turner. Maybe a change of scenery will bump his numbers up more because if he didn't have all these blocked shots and stuff, I don't think his ranking will be high. And he's putting up mediocre numbers if that. He's not hitting a three ball at a great rate. His shooting percentage is mediocre, in my opinion, for Miles Turner. So he's just not getting the job done. I believe his Turner has an everyday option for fantasy basketball and a guy you could count on. So if I could sell him off high on that high ranking, I will. The last few games, it's been nothing special. March 12th at the Lake is 8 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, a steal, 2 blocks. March 13th at Phoenix, 16 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, a steal, 4 blocks. Then versus Denver, March 15th, 8 points, 9 rebounds, an assist, and 5 blocks. of the block shots, he's a specialist. No doubt about it, but he's not scoring the basketball great. And his rebounds per game aren't that eye-popping as well. So I would look to get rid of Turner in a sell-high deal or trade him in a one-for-one decent deal. The next center is Ennis Cantor of the Portland Trailblazers. And Ennis Cantor, it's been a good season for him. He's a better fantasy player than real-life player. And on the season, he's ranked 89th in fantasy basketball with 12 points a game. 11.6 11.6 rebounds, 1.2 assists, 76% from the foul line, and 59% from the field for Cantor. In the last couple of weeks, he's ranked 48th in the time with 13.8 points a game, 12.2 rebounds, 1.3 assists, 91% from the foul line, and 64% from the field. So when it's the menace, he's putting up big games. He's putting up good numbers, but the reason I would look to sell him off or sell them high this week is because we got Joseph Nurkic. He's coming back in about two weeks now. And you know Trailblazers, they're high on Nurkic. They prefer him over Ennis Cantor in their starting lineup. And as far as playing time goes. So right now, with Nurkic's return on the, around the corner, I will look to sell off Cantor and get a decent piece for him. The last three games here for Cantor, he's been good though. March 13th in Minnesota, 20 points, 11 rebounds, 2 assists. March 14th in Minnesota, 4 points, 11 rebounds, and assisted and steal. And March 16th versus New Orleans, 10 points, 5 rebounds, a steal, and 2 blocks. So Cantor, he's putting up numbers. 
he's producing, but the production is going to go down, the numbers are going to go down, and also his value. So right now, while well, his value is still at a decent peak, I would look to trade him off with Nurkic around the corner. The next one is Anthony Davis of the Los Angeles Lakers. So Davis, another player like Joel Embiid, who's been injured now the last couple weeks, and he's going to miss three weeks or more. And Davis, he's already been out for about a month, it seems like. So Davis on the season, ranked 19, 22.5 points a game, 8.4 rebounds, 3 assists, 1.3 steals, 1.8 blocks. He was 71% from the foul line, 53% from the field. So he's ranked 19 in the time that he played Davis. But Davis now, if he's out three weeks or beyond, that'll take us to week 16 or 17. And at this point, I would just trade him away and try to get anything for Davis because the Lakers, they're going to preserve him. The Lakers, they're going to be a top seed or two even without Davis in the Western Conference. So they're going to make sure he's 100% healthy for the playoffs of the Lakers. And Anthony Davis, this is the thing with him. Each and every season, except last season, he gets injured and misses a great amount of time. And once again, he was a top five fantasy pick in fantasy drafts this season. And he's been a total bust, is Anthony Davis, with the injuries and his numbers even dropped off from last season or this season. So if I could get something good for Anthony Davis, or even two decent pieces at this time, I would look to trade him off because I have a feeling he's going to be out at least five more weeks. They're taking baby steps with him. They got on the kid gloves and they want their franchise center to come back 100%. So right now, I don't think Davis will have much fantasy impact and I could trade him off and get something for him. This is the time to do it because the more time he sits out, the less his value is going to be and the less managers are going to get for him. And the fifth and final center, I would look to sell high this week or trade is Raquan Holmes of the Sacramento Kings. So Raquan Holmes, he's been on the sell hard list a lot this season. And he's had a great year though, no doubt about it. Ranked 37th in fantasy basketball. 13 and a half points a game, 8.7 rebounds, 1.8 assists, 1.5 blocks, 79% from the foul line, and 65% from the field in the last few weeks. He's ranked 20th is Holmes with 17 points a game, 11.6 rebounds. 2.6 steals, 1.8 blocks, 71% from the foul line, and 63% from the field. So Holmes, we know all season, his field goal percentage is out of control at a 65%. And he gets a lot of putbacks, he gets a lot of easy buckets, and he's playing at a high level in a contract season here with the Sacramento Kings. But we've seen fall-offs from him as the week's gone on and then he rises back up but right now well his value's at a peak again I would look to trade Holmes off the last three games he's been good though March 11th versus Houston 20 points 11 rebounds 2 assists and a block March 13th at Atlanta 20 points 12 rebounds and assist and a block and March 15th a huge ball game 17 points 15 rebounds 6 assists 2 steals and 4 blocks so after that game alone I would look to sell off Roquan Holmes. He's been a huge player for this King team. He's in the contract year, but I don't think these numbers are sustainable. And as the season goes on, the Kings, they're going to fall more out of the race. And I can see them even trading Holmes to a contender if they think they can't re-sign him. Or them just benching him and make sure he don't get hurt before next season. So Roquan Holmes, I would sell him high here. And I think you could get a decent return in a one-for-one -one deal. So that's a few semis. I look to sell high or trade off here in week 12 of the fantasy basketball season.